Good afternoon, Frank Macalusi here from Garageaholic. I haven't posted a video in a while, and the reason is because I lost my charging cable for my iPhone, so that really set me back a few days. I'm just kidding. Actually, it's because I had a lot of work to do on this thing, and I wanted to make sure that I get a good quality video for you. So today, what we're going to be doing is we're going to be doing final assembly of the final, final assembly, and get this thing running and rocking around in the parking lot just a little bit and see what we can do. All right, guys, so stay tuned. We're gonna do a first start, we're gonna do a drive, we're gonna take it around the parking lot there in the back, and we're just gonna rock it around. Um, part of that is we do need to bleed the clutch. We have not bled the clutch line yet. We do need to do that. And uh, it's not exactly easy, it's not hard, it's just you know kind of like a repetitive process. Let's work on the clutch. So that's the line that goes down to the clutch master cylinder. Do we have enough brake fluid? Not really, we can always add a little bit more. And as we bleed, we definitely will. Let's take a look at the pedal and see what it feels like. Don't mind the spot on the floor. But this is the pedal, as you can see, it's spring-loaded, but it goes right down to the floor and does not spring back up, meaning that we don't have the pressure from the uh, from the pressure plate uh, inside the transmission to push it back, which means we don't have the fluid transfer from the master from the master cylinder to the slave cylinder at the transmission. So we just need to bleed it. All right. So let's go underneath the car. Let's get a vacuum bleeder on it. Let's uh, let's suck as much air as we can from underneath and uh, and just cycle this over and over and over and make it a repetitive process. This is our bleeder. It's basically just a vacuum bleeder, and what it does is it sucks the uh, whatever brake fluid or whatever fluid out of the bleed screw from either the the brake caliper or the mass or the slave cylinder that we're going to do for the clutch. And as you as you pump, let me see if I can plug this up and pump. You'll see that it actually builds up vacuum. This vacuum is in uh, you know inches of mercury basically. And you let go, it kind of goes back to zero. And the idea here is that there is a little tube inside of this this uh, reservoir. And it sucks the fluid in and it goes into the tube. And as the tube fills up, I'm sorry, the, the reservoir, as the reservoir fills up, the tube inside is constantly being, is constantly submerged in whatever fluid is in there. So when you let go of the pressure, it's not going to suck, suck air back into the system. It's actually going to suck the fluid back into it. So the, this line will constantly be filled with fluid as you're bleeding. So it's actually a pretty cool vacuum system um, that allows you to bleed as a single man. Um, you know, you do have to kind of open and close the bleeder uh, and then continue to pump um, as you do it, but um, it's possible. So we're gonna do it as a single person. Let's give it a shot. It might be a little bit difficult to see, but I got my bleed line hooked up to the, uh, the bleed port on the, mat, on the slave cylinder. And when I unscrewed the slave cylinder uh, bleed enough with the 11 millimeter, I could start seeing uh, some drips coming out. I immediately hooked up the vacuum and I started applying vacuum. I'll apply some more here. Let me out got here. Got out 10, 15. You can see it burbling right there. It's actually pulling air and fluid out, so I need to cycle the, the pedal. And you know that it's actually working because it's going down to zero slowly. So I'm actually doing a pretty good job here. I just need to lather, rinse, and repeat. Let me push the pedal a little bit. Now, the pedal, the pedal obviously is an open system. It's not closed because I have the bleeder on, but I'm kind of cycling through the master cylinder a little bit, in and out. And then I'll have to fill it up with fluid up at the top and then uh, do the, you know, close it and then push and let's see, if I end up pushing this after I close the system and I get a little bit more back pressure, then that means that I'm getting air out of the system. Filling up with some more fluid, slowly, that actually is a little too fast, okay, spilled it, got to spill it or else you're not, you're not a shady tree mechanic, got to spill it. You know that it's going to be right at this line. You can see it's above the max, but that's okay because I'm going to bleed it some more. And it's slowly going down because this guy is actually a, uh, an insert that's, that has little holes in the side. The little holes in the side are designed to allow the slow fill. You fill it up too fast and you'll get bubbles in the system. Um, so you want to just do it slowly. And then as, it, as you fill up in, on the inner liner, it pours over those, those holes and then it starts filling the reservoir. So let's uh, take a look at the pedal. So far, no go. Still goes all the way down to the floor. So I need to do this again and, uh, and try getting more air out of the system. A couple of iterations of that, and now we're left with this. So now, it's actually springing back on its own now. Not quite there yet, but we're getting there. And now we have a working clutch 
with a clutch stopper. And it's got that feel where like you push it and this this tension and then it kind of like gives in and then you hit the bottom. So that's kind of like the way that a BMW clutch typically feels. You kind of like this hard push and then it kind of just whoosh, finishes where it, you know it's com do completely disengaging. So we have that feel on this and it's kind of cool. It's a light feel. I mean, the uh, pressure plate is not a very strong pressure plate. It's factory. Um, so, I mean, it can handle the 400 horsepower, but this is a very good feeling clutch. I think it's going to work out very well in this application. Next is to finish up this intake air bellows. I decided to remove the, the ducting that was originally here. Um, I just thought it was really shady. It wasn't very strong. It wasn't doing anything. Um, instead, I got this uh, telescoping vacuum type hose that's used for these types of applications. I'm going to put it right in the window there, and it's going to... And it's gonna flex in a way that's like that, that allows free flowing air going to the oil cooler. Um, and on the other side of the oil cooler, I did cut an area here, which is kind of hard to see from here, maybe even from here. I did cut um, so that the air has a place to escape. Um, and, uh, and then I think we should be in good shape after we install this guy and kind of mount it into place. The hose clamp mounted. Now I just gotta take the hose, slip it through, tighten it up, and make sure it's angled toward the oil cooler. You can see it going right to the oil cooler, actually, in the background. But here it is. And it's actually in there pretty good. It's not really moving. And you can kind of angle this wherever you want, you know? It kind of snaps like a vacuum hose. It's pretty cool. So, uh, done. Now it's time to get these suckers in. Probably should have done this before I put the bumper on. But I didn't, so. did was I basically consolidated a lot of the wiring with the existing stock N54 and CAS. So I'm going to start it up and just make sure that it runs in idles. And then I'm going to fill it up with coolant and I'm going to see if I can rock this thing back and forth, move it around. This is the first time we're actually moving this thing on its own power since I just bled the clutch and I can actually control it. I think that this will work out, but we'll see. I'm very excited. Um, after we get that working and we bleed the system from, of coolant, we're going to end up going to a rewiring and we're going to do an unboxing of the Castle N54 MSD81 DME. It'll be very exciting. Let's see if we can get this thing running. So let's do a quick test start. Start button. Every time. Every time. Empty again. No leaks. Let's move this thing under its own power, huh? <laughs> 